how many three digit natural numbers are divisible by 4 solution the three digit natural numbers which are divisible by 4 are 100 104 108 112 and so on up to 996 These numbers form an arithmetic progression with first term that is A equal to 100 and common difference D is equal to 4 and TN is equal to 996. Now we know that TN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Substituting the values of A, D and TN, we have 996 is equal to 100 plus N minus 1 into 4. Therefore, 996 minus 100 is equal to 4N minus 4. Therefore, 896 is equal to 4N minus 4. Therefore, 896 plus 4 is equal to 4n. 900 is equal to 4n. Therefore, n is equal to 900 divided by 4 which is equal to 225. Thus, there are 225 terms of 3 digit natural numbers that are divisible by 4. Obtain the sum of the 56 terms of an arithmetic progression whose 19th and 30th terms are 52 and 148 respectively. Solution It is given that T19 is equal to 52 and T38 is equal to 148. Now, we know that Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Therefore, T19 is equal to A plus 19 minus 1 into D. Therefore, 52 is equal to A plus 18 D. Let this be equation number 1. Similarly, T38 is equal to A plus 38 minus 1 into D. Therefore, 148 is equal to A plus 37D. Let this be equation number 2. Now, adding equation 1 and 2, we get 200 is equal to 2A plus 55D. Let this be equation number 3. Now, we also know that Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, S56 will be equal to 56 upon 2 in bracket 2a plus 56 minus 1 into d which is equal to 28 into 2a plus 55d. Now substituting the value of 2a plus 55d from equation 3 we have s56 is equal to 28 into 200. Therefore, S56 is equal to 5600. How many terms of the arithmetic progression 16, 14, 12 and so on are needed 
to give the sum 60. Explain why we get double answer. Solution The given sequence is Therefore we have A is equal to 16 B is equal to 14 minus 16 which is equal to minus 2 And as per the given information Sn is equal to 60. Now using the formula, Sn is equal to n upon 2 into in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substituting the values, we have 60 is equal to n upon 2 into 2 into 16 plus n minus 1 into minus 2. Therefore, 60 into 2 is equal to n into in bracket 32 minus 2n plus 2. Therefore, 120 is equal to n into 34 minus 2n. Therefore, 120 is equal to 34n minus 2n square. Shifting all the terms, we have 2n square minus 34n plus 120 is equal to 0. Dividing by 2 on both the sides, we get n square minus 17n plus 60 is equal to 0. After factorization, we get n minus 12 into n minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, n is equal to 12 or n is equal to 5. If n is equal to 5, then the sum of the first 5 terms is 60. Therefore, sum of the first 5 terms is 60 and sum of the last 7 terms is 0. Where they are opposite to each other. That is, they are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. Question number 3. How many terms of the Find the sum of all odd natural numbers from 1 to 150. Solution The odd natural number between 1 and 150 are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on up to 149. Note that 149 is the last odd natural number. Here we have to find 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus so on till plus 149. So let the nth term be 149. That is Tn is equal to 149. But 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on up to 149 forms an arithmetic progression with A is equal to 1, D is equal to 2 and Tn is equal to 149. By using the formula Tn is equal to A plus in bracket N minus 1 into D we have 149 is equal to 1 plus in bracket n minus 1 into 2. Therefore, 149 is equal to 1 plus 2n minus 2. Therefore, 149 
is equal to 2n minus 1. Therefore, 2n is equal to 150. Therefore, n is equal to 75. Thus, there are 75 odd natural numbers between 1 and 150. Now, the sum of 75 odd natural numbers, that is Sn, is equal to n upon 2 into a plus tn. Therefore, S75 is equal to 75 upon 2 into 1 plus 149 which is equal to 75 upon 2 into 150 is equal to 75 into 75. Therefore, S75 is equal to 5625. Therefore, the sum of all odd natural numbers between 1 and 150 is 5625. Question number 5. Find the sum of the first n odd natural numbers. Hence, find 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on plus 101. Solution. Here, in the first n odd natural numbers, a is equal to t1 which is equal to 1 and d is equal to 2. Therefore, we have Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substituting the values, we get Sn is equal to n upon 2 in bracket 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. Therefore, Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2 plus 2n minus 2. Therefore, Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2n. 2 gets cancelled out and we get Sn is equal to n square. Now, as per the given information, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on plus 101. We have Tn is equal to 101. We also know that Sn is equal to n upon 2 into T1 plus Tn. Therefore, n square is equal to n upon 2 into 1 plus 101. Therefore, n square is equal to n upon 2 into 102. Therefore, n square is equal to n into 51. Now, n square divided by n is equal to 51. n gets cancelled out in the numerator and denominator and we get n is equal to 51. Now, S51 will be equal to 51 divided by 2 into 1 plus 101 which is equal to 51 upon 2 into 102 which is further equal to 51 into 51. Therefore, S51 is equal to 2601. Hence, 1 plus 3, plus 5, so on, plus 101 is equal to 2601. The sum of the first 55 terms of an arithmetic progression is 3300. Find the 20th term. Solution. We know that 
एस एन इज इक्वल टू एन अपॉन टू एन टू टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी इट इज गिवन दैट एस फिफ्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड देखो एस फिफ्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव अपॉन टू इन ब्रैकेट टू ए प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस वन इन टू डी देखो थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव अपॉन टू इन टू टू ए प्लस फिफ्टी फोर डी नाउ थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव अपॉन टू इन टू टेकिंग आउट टू कॉमन इन ब्रैकेट ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी टू गेट कैंसिल्ड आउट एंड वी हैव थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव इन टू ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी डेफो थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी नाउ ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन नंबर वन वी ऑल्सो नो दैट टी एन इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी डेफो टी ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस ट्वेंटी एट माइनस वन इन टू डी डेफो टी ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन वी नो दैट ए प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डेफो टी ट्वेंटी एट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू सिक्सटी दस द ट्वेंटी एट टर्म इज सिक्सटी find four consecutive terms in an arithmetic progression whose sum is 12 and sum of the third and fourth term is 14 solution let the four consecutive terms be a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d the sum of the four consecutive terms is given as 12 therefore we have a minus 3d plus a minus d plus a plus d plus a plus 3d is equal to 12 here minus 3d and plus 3d gets cancelled out Similarly, minus d and plus d gets cancelled out. Hence, we have four a is equal to twelve. Therefore, a is equal to twelve divided by four. Therefore, a is equal to three. Now, it is also given that the sum of third and the fourth term is fourteen. Therefore, we have A plus D plus A plus three D is equal to fourteen. Therefore, two A plus four D is equal to fourteen. Putting the value of A is equal to three, we get two into three plus four D is equal to fourteen. Six plus four D is equal to fourteen. 4d is equal to 14 minus 6. Therefore, 4d is equal to 8. Therefore, d is equal to 8 divided by 4. Therefore, d is equal to 2. Now, putting the value of a and d, we get t1, that is first term, is equal to a minus 3d. Is equal to three minus three into two. Is equal to three minus six, which is equal to minus three. 
Similarly, T2 that is second term is equal to A minus D is equal to 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1. Further, T3 that is third term is equal to A plus D is equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. T4 that is fourth term is equal to A plus 3D is equal to 3 plus 3 into 2 which is equal to 9. Therefore, the four consecutive terms are minus 3, 1, 5 and 9. A village has 4,000 literate people in the year 2010 and this number increases by 400 per year. How many literate people will be there till the year 2020? Find formula to know the number of literate people after n years. Solution a village has 4,000 literate people in the year 2010. Hence, first term A is equal to 4,000. And this number increases by 400 per year. Therefore, the common difference D is equal to 400. Here, we have to find the literate people till the year 2020. That is the number of literate people after 10 years. Therefore, n is equal to 10. We know that Tn is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Therefore, T10 is equal to 4000 plus 10 minus 1 into 400. Therefore, T10 is equal to 4000 plus 3600. Therefore, T10 is equal to 7600. Therefore, 7600 literal people will be there till the year 2020. Here, we also have to find the formula to know the number of literate people after n years. Therefore, the formula is Tn is equal to 4000 plus n minus 1 into 400, which is equal to 4000 plus 400n minus 400 is equal to 3600 plus 400n. Therefore, Tn is equal to 400n plus 3600. Thus, the formula to find the number of literate people after n years is Tn is equal to 400n plus 3600.